probably better than we expected because I don't think we we knew quite what to expect. But this was exceeded expectations and was really a lot of fun for our kids. Mike, you have a lot of different pieces. Would you say depth is probably or one of these strengths of this team from what you've seen so far? No question. And that's a, that's a nice thing to have because in practice there's competition every day. We force each other to get better by playing against each other because they know if you're not going to do the job, somebody's knocking on your door for your position. What did you see from your first year guys today? Um, I thought that uh, at times it looked like the pace was uh, a little much for them. They, they uh, took too much time to think what they wanted to do. A lot of times it resulted in turnover, but that, that's the natural prog progress for them. A lot of smiles on their faces. They, uh, you know, JD scored in the regular game and then had a nice shootout goal, and Jake scored. So um, they were very much looking forward to this week. And <laughs> what was wiping back in your first head coaching position? Boy, this place has changed a lot. It's uh, it's an amazing transformation, and uh, I, I haven't been in a lot of. D3 places, but I would have to say that this would have to rank way up there, but it was fun. It was uh, it's great to see the progress of this program here and culminated with uh, you know winning the Division Three National Championship. They've got a great house here. They can just keep this thing rolling and be very special. What do you hear about your year here? You know, <laughs> that was uh, first year coaching, and at the time, we, we built the old locker room with, I think, a couple thousand dollars, about seven volunteers. We painted, we cut the wood, we installed the uh, the carpet ourselves. It was a great project, and you know, at, at this level, you find out if you want to do things. And uh, fell in love with coach and started right here. You paid, you paid your dues, didn't you? Oh, well, but that was, you know, you know, it was like starting in the mailroom. But you find out if you want to do it or not. Mm -hmm. And we did find that out that we wanted to do it, and it was a lot of fun. Could you see yourselves doing this again next season and beyond? You know, I didn't say this to the assistant coaches, but in my mo own head, I had that thought that we need to investigate whether we should do this here again or someplace else. It was a lot of fun. A lot of expectations this year, Mike. How do you go about managing those expectations, maybe even embracing them? Well, we do embrace them. I mean, there's a whole, when we have a team like this, there's, there's certain things that I think as, as a staff you want to have a heads up on. Uh, in terms of what, what there's some pitfalls when you have an older team and you want to make sure that you don't fall into those. We think that we have a real good leadership core and, and they have a good pulse on what needs to be done. That was indicated by this summer and the work they did under our strength and conditioning coach Jim Snyder. So we have an awareness of some of the pitfalls and we'll try to stay away from them and move forward to our ultimate goals. You have a very specific way of how you want to play. But do you have, do you have four lines? Can you roll four with pretty... Pretty good confidence. I would, I would hope so, Andy. I think with the group we have, that is a distinct possibility, yes. It doesn't happen very often. I mean, you don't have teams like that very often. No, I, I think it's a byproduct of being an upperclassman team and not losing as many kids mm -hmm. over the course of the last couple of years that we have in years past. Coach, this is a, obviously a unique event for the D1 school to come visit the D3 school. Um, a week ago, the Minnesota Wild visited the University of Minnesota Duluth, and that event. Uh, generally, was you know, well received by fans and students from the University of Minnesota. So, I'm wondering, do you think that uh, the Minnesota Wild might be able to show up to communities like Madison, Wisconsin, and go out to 